Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Skyping, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Joint Product Costing Constant Gross Margin Percentage Method. First of all, what is Joint Product Costing? Some manufacturing plant plants yield more than one product from a common resource input. For instance, pork, beef, chicken, tuna, uh, salmon, uh, gas and uh, oil and gas, and so on. We have a lot of uh, examples here. This is called a joint production process. Joint products are products from a joint production process that have relatively substantial sales values. Products whose total sales value are minor in comparison to the sales value of the joint products are classified as by products. And the difference between joint products and by products, uh, this, both uh, use the same raw material. So up until a certain point, no distinction can be made between the products. And then we have a lot of products, and the byproducts is the one that the, the sales value is much lower than the joint products. For instance, tuna, we will check it later. The point in a joint production process at which individual products can be identified for the first time is called the split-off point. And joint costs include all manufacturing costs incurred prior to the split-off point. And costs after the split-off point are called separable processing costs. And then after the split-off point, we deal with them with job costs, process costs, uh, any kind of costing that we want. We have four methods. So we have four videos about joint uh, products. And they are all in our video description. Physical measures, sales revenue, net realizable values, and constant gross margin percentage method. Our video today. The constant gross margin percentage method is used when it is desired to have each joint product after joint cost allocation and separable costs to have the same gross margin percentage. The outcome of each joint product will be equally profitable as measured by the gross margin percentage. And sometimes a lot of textbooks, they stop here. They don't give us uh, numbers. They don't give us an Excel file because the math is quite hard here. However, we will do it. So let's go to our Excel file. We have four sheets here, the four methods. So you can compare the other methods as well. So we have tuna, unprocessed tuna, our split off point. 85 pounds, 1,000 pounds, $98,000. We have two products, tuna fillets and any tuna, 20,000 pounds for the first one, 50,000 for the second one. One byproduct here, cat food, and we have some additional process here that we will not be working on this method, by the way, because it is after the split off point. And the selling price is $2. The remaining byproduct, scrap and waste, they are irrelevant, so we will not be considering this number. And by the way, this cat food, it is wrong. It's not 3,000. Sorry, it is 5,000. And then we will have the same numbers for all of our methods, and you will be able to compare later. So, what do we have here? Physical measure, 20,000 pounds for the first one. And let's do it here. Copy and paste our formula, and the total is the sum here, 75 instead of 85, because we will not be selling 10,000 pounds. Our selling prices, they are here. And our sales revenue, this one times this one, and open paste here, and the sum, it will be 140, if I'm not, 150,000 dollars. Okay, let's double check here. Yes. And additional processing, we will not be working with that, so we can delete it. That is just like you have. So we need to find some percentage here to give us the same gross profit margin. So let's do it. What is the gross profit? Revenue less joint costs. So let's copy and paste here. 
gross profit margin, gross profit divided by sales revenue, divided by zero because we don't have the numbers yet. Our revenues, tuna fillet 50, any tuna 90, uh, cat food 10, wow, and the total here. Wow, let's work here in percentage. Yes, much better. Uh, and then let's consider here, just for some kind of tests, 30% for Kenny tuna, uh, for tuna fillet, 30% for Kenny tuna, and 40% for cat food. And let's, whoops, the sum here, the sum must be 100, always. So, if these numbers are right, our joint cost will be 98, let's fix this one here, times 30 for tuna fillets, the same for kidney tuna, and here for cat food. And our total will be the sum here for our total. So here we have a problem. We don't have the same gross profit margin. We need the same gross profit margin. So we have two solutions here. The first one, uh, let's try an error. Let's change these numbers here, and then let's find some number that give us the right numbers here. Or we can use a very powerful tool on Excel about linear programming, call it Solver. Where is it? It's on data. It should be here. I don't have it. Probably you neither. But we only we have it, but it's not shown. So let's show it. Let's tell Excel to show it. How do we do that? File options. It doesn't matter what Excel you are working with. It is the same. In older versions, the option is around here. Okay, but options, addings, Excel addings, go. Here we go. Solver adding. Okay. And let's work on it. Go Excel, go Excel. Come on, Excel, please. Not responding. So cool. I love that. Oh, I think we have it. Here, solver. So how do how does it work? First of all, oh let's delete it, reset all. So okay, what do we want? We want this gross profit. And we can work with max or minimum, it doesn't matter, here. And then, uh, what cells we will be changing? These three here. We need to find these numbers here. And we have constraints here. These three numbers must be the same, and this total must be 100%. So let's add our constraints here. The first one, the total of the cost allocation must be equal to one or 100%. Let's add the second one. This gross profit margin must be the same of this pro gross profit margin here. Let's add another one. The second gross profit must be equal to the third gross profit. We don't need to, and then, okay, we have no other constraints. What about the first one with the third one? We don't need it because if this one is the same of this one and the second one is the same of the third one, then the first one will be the same of the third one. And here, let's click here on this set objective and now solve. And here we have keep sober solution because we found it. 34.67%, the same gross profit margin for everyone. So 33% for tuna fillets, 60% for 
Kenneth Tuna and 6.67 for Cat. So here we have our uh, equal gross profit margin. So with Solver, it's quite easy to solve it. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at bmail.com. Subscribe our channel, like our video, and also like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Guys, have a very nice day and God bless you.